23-year-old Femi Nandap, who had a history of mental health problems and was known to police. Nandap has pleaded guilty to manslaughter on the grounds of diminished responsibility. But Dr Ensink's baby daughter will never know her father and may one day ask who was responsible for his death. Carl Smith and Andy Barker are going to push me out of my comfort zone and help me scale this enormous rock face. And then I need to get up. Oh, ah, get it. And then where do I go from here? Now reach up with your right is a good edge. I can't. I can't. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> I've gone, I've gone. That's a long way down. That is a long way down. I want to keep going, but my mind and my body are telling me that I've reached my limit. He's a pretty fantastic here anyway. And 36 year old Darren Pencil, who just minutes later would be involved in a deadly confrontation, turned violent. In images shown to the jury but too graphic to be released publicly, the victim is seen being stabbed 18 times in just 25 seconds. Aaron Pencil admits possessing a knife but has pleaded not guilty to murdering Lee Pomeroy. Svensson Onga Kui were found guilty of Jodie's murder. Just a few months before she died, Jodie had visited 10 Downing Street with her scout group. 21-year-old Sean Bull had murder. 24-year-old Paulius Petrosawanus. Joel Osei, who's 26 years old, killed a 43-year-old Irishman, Adrian Murphy. Ali Harbi Ali is arrest at the scene of the murder of MP Sir David Amos. Rudy Gouede, murder of British student Meredith Kircher. Zephaniah McLeod admits killing uni worker Jacob Billington, age 23. Mr Young and launches a single vicious punch to the head. Mr Young sustained a serious head injury and later died. Gill pleaded guilty to manslaughter and was sentenced at Salisbury Crown Court to four and a half years in prison.